an urgent ambulance journey to save a newborn's life. Baby Zermina is just 21 days old and struggling to breathe. The hospital in her hometown doesn't have the resources to save her. So she's rushed to the Medicine Sans Frontier Hospital in Helmand's capital, Lashkogar, more than an hour and a half away. Afghanistan's healthcare system has been left with a gaping wound. The Taliban takeover meant foreign aid dried up and countless doctors and nurses have left the country. Now this hospital is a lifeline for hundreds of thousands of people and it's completely overwhelmed. Here it's one baby in, one baby out. When they are coming to the hospital, they mostly come at last stages, you know, when already that the damage has been already too far gone. Baby Zamina has survived the journey. But her oxygen levels are still low. Her parents are scared and confused by how quickly she became unwell. She's been diagnosed with sepsis and will have to be admitted into the neonatal intensive care unit for an overnight stay. Back in Zamina's hometown, Grishk, at the local clinic, every day a crowd gathers, begging to be seen. <laughs> but most are being turned away. Only the most urgent cases are seen and offered the most basic care. A young burns victim. In unsanitary conditions, with a severe lack of medicine and a desperate shortage of staff, there's only so much they can do. Little Nadia fell from a balcony and has suffered a head trauma. The doctor advises her father to drive her to Kandahar, nearly four hours away, for a CT scan. There's no further treatment available here. But the local Taliban public health official insists the situation has improved since they took over. Uh, Yet many here still insist they're not getting the help they need. We were forbidden from filming female patients. Outside the clinic, we heard their complaints. With fighting in Afghanistan over and the Taliban in charge, the roads are safer for people to travel. That means a new day in Lashkarkar brings another intense patient load for the MSF hospital. Nurses Homero Naruzi and Joanna Castro are looking after very sick infants. Joanna's Portuguese and usually works for the NHS in the UK. 
every time she gives the milk, the baby needs to be up. Otherwise, the milk might go in the lungs. It's a very tiny baby. He needs to get fat. Baby Zamina, who was brought here from Grishk yesterday, is showing signs of improvement. She got a bit of oxygen support, now she doesn't need it anymore. And she's put on antibiotics, so now she's breastfeeding. And the mother says she's really improved. Uh, she's more awake, she's uh, not vomiting anymore, so we're happy. But other children here are still critical. The most common ailment, malnutrition. Malnourished babies in this ward are two to a bed. 1.1 million children in Afghanistan are expected to suffer from it this year. And the summer months, with more droughts expected, bring greater danger. The malnutrition patient in Hillman increased it. And when we discharge some patient, many reasons that they uh, again uh, come and were admitted. The local clinic uh, are not working and they can't get the follow-up service. Again, they become worse and they become sick and come, and come here. One more patient in the last 24 hours, we had uh, 73 patients admitted. It's a high number. When I was a child, I had the dream that I was going to save the world, you know, I think we all do. But a lot of problems are political. This is a baby that uh, doesn't have a mother, so the health assistant is giving her breast milk that other mothers donated to the baby. Oh, that's so nice. It's a daily struggle to manage all these patients. Some of them, they, they walked or drove a lot of hours to just to come here and, and get seen by a healthcare professional. So, you know, giving answer to all these people is, is a daily struggle. Baby Samuel La was one of those suffering from malnutrition, but he's now well enough to be discharged. His family invite us to join them as they head home to a village in the Helmand countryside. Forak <laughs> The country's crippled economy and rising prices have left so many struggling to eat. The United Nations now estimates as much as 97% of Afghanistan is believed to be living in poverty. With little to eat and no guarantee of health care, a vicious cycle. What future can these children expect? <laughs>